Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Today I'm going to introduce you a fun and fast Exodia summoning deck. But before that, I'm trying my best to try to have Arcana to level up to level 40. So to have some drop their his drop cards to feature you the Dark Magician deck. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that video. And if you like this video, do give a like, subscribe on my channel and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. So without further ado, let's move on to the deck list. So basically, uh, Yugi Moto have a drop skill called Grandpa Cards, which give you another 5 uh, Anzodia parts to special summon the God card. So we have just a low monster for spellcaster, like level 2, Phantom Devon. Divan. So basically, uh, if you do have this kind of cards, you can s go to the search and just try to find some spellcaster card that is lower level for this deck. So what you want to do is to click spellcaster, level 1 and 2. And sorry, and remember to have a normal type. So basically, these are the cards that you can use for this deck if you don't have any of this card. So three of these. A normal level 2 monster, 3 of these a level 2 uh, normal monster. I have 2 magical stone excavation. So what does this card does is that I can discard 2 cards, then target 1 spell card in my graveyard, add it to my hand. So I want to add it to my hand spell cards like magic wand, I have 3 of these, this is from card trader, and 3 by elephant gift just to meet up more cards. So I have 2 enchanting fitting room. So this card, uh, basically what it does is I pay 800 life point, pick up 4 cards from the top of my deck and special summon to my side of the field or level 3 or lower mon normal monster among the pickup cards. So basically you can special summon a normal monster including the Exodia parts to the front row to mill them up with magic uh, wonder wand to quickly get more cards for the puzzle to summon Exodia. So I have one three try right. So this card basically I can target three level two or no, no normal monster in my graveyard, special summon them from the graveyard. So basically I can special summon Phantom Devon, Secretary of Secrets, and Enzodia Path as well. So I have a trap card which is backup soldier. So basically what does this card is if I have Exodia parts in the graveyard and I can use this to add them to my hand. So without further ado, let's move on to the highlights. I hope you guys enjoy. To me, this deck is pretty awesome. It's fun and fast summoning. But at times it may break, so you know, don't be tilted. Just restart the game because I have a feeling that Konami always do something. It's an algorithm thing. So if you have a good hand for a few rounds, just restart the game and go for NPC and you can play PvP and you have good starting hand like this. So basically I start off with an Exodia part and a level 2 normal monster. So I'm not sure what that type is playing, I'm, I don't really care, I just want to quickly get my cards out. So I just use Enchanting Fitting Room to try to special summon more normal monster on my fun row as I have two milling cards, spell cards in my hand so I would like to use magic wand to tack on my left leg of the forbidden one me have more cards and secretary of secret me have more cards again pretty easy, he attacked me I don't mind him attacking my life point. I need more milling cards, so I use Trite Right just to protect my front row as of now. I have two Azodia piece on my hand and one in the graveyard, so I just need two more Parser. So he can't do anything, so he will just keep on attacking me. I'm just stalling for one turn. This is what you can do if you kind of break. So Trite Right again. I have one White Elephant gift, which is useful. So three cards, white elephant gift, and I use magic stone excavation, throw away two normal monster, get one more spell card, 
and White Elephant give, I left with 5 cards, White Elephant give again. And I use Tribe Ride. Right. See the combo? This is so fun, so fast, so easy peasy. So 3 monster again. Magic Wand. It's a non-stop hit. No one can stop my combo. Now I have all the Azodia piece. I have 3 on my hand, 2 in the graveyard, backup soldier. Come to play. But I'm gonna throw him a bit. I'm not gonna activate now. We shall see when he attack. Backup soldier. Get back my Anzodia piece. And let's summon the god. Anzodia activated. The god card is here. This is a. Uh, I would say this is a very fun deck. I have played different version before. But those are. I mean a bit passive, this is more active, interactive, which I hope you guys like it. So another, I will just go and show you another two more replay because I don't think uh, there is any more to it besides, you know, the summoning effect and basically what uh, the cut's purpose of this deck. So starting second against T Gardener. Sometimes with the best luck you can pretty much win in the first or second turn. So I have three milling card, one enchanting fitting room. Let's special summon some monster to the field. Kinda unlucky, finally I got one Anzodia piece and another normal monster, summon both of them up. White elephant gift. Milling is winning. White Elephant give again, get up more card, Magic Wand. You want to take note that uh, Tribe Right can only activate it if you have no monster on the field. If you have one monster, you can't use this card. So take, take note of that, don't say I didn't tell you. And I get 3 normal monster special summon to the field again for me to, just to keep milling my card to get the card out. White Elephant give. I have one Azodia piece on my hand, one in the graveyard. Now two Azodia piece in my hand, one in the graveyard. I discard two monster cards, get back white elephant gift. Enchanting fitting room, just to get a more monster card. And milling is winning. So three monster card now, white elephant gift. I left with four cards. I now I left with two cards. <laughs> I just use backup soldier, magical stone excavation. And now I'm open for the attack. I have no cards in hand. Four of uh, the Azodia piece on my hand. And it's just turn three. And start off turn three. Backup soldier activated. Let's special summon the Azodia. The God, the Grandpa card, the beast that will win through the game. Well, if you if you don't think that this uh deck can be competitive in PvP, well, honestly, you can use this deck to get the Azodia special map or cut sleeve. It is fun as well. So I I believe that you have to successful use Azodia for hundred rounds to get the special map so you can use this card just to get out some cool stuff from konami so this will be the last replay i hope you guys like it do drop a like leave your comments down below on what other decks you like me to show you guys and remember to subscribe on my channel and follow me on my facebook for more updates and upload thank you guys once again so enchanting fitting room get some cards on the board now Honestly, I I think this concept kind of suit in the raw as well. Let me just try to figure out something for the summoning of raw because this allows you to have a monster in the front row, three of them pretty easily. Like this, you have three, and you know you can just go raw now if I have it. So that's just another concept. And magic one, I'm not sure why it's not attacking me. That's kind of screw up on his part but 
His loss is my gain. Maybe he just wants to see a Zodiac coming up. So White Elephant give again, getting more cards. Just be patient. He used Xin Jianghu. I use up my backup soldier. And just waiting for one more card. That's why sometimes it's not advisable to set up your backup soldier that early. So I'm leaving the missing pieces. He's playing Amazon that I would believe so. And now the heart of the card give you Exodia. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good day, good afternoon, good night. Signing off and peace to Exodia. See you soon.